For today's quiz, we have a pendulum. It's swinging on this metal apparatus. It's a ring stand, another ring stand, and it's attached to this wooden plank. I've got a big screw here and over here. There's a metal bar that's gonna connect the two ring stands. As this swings back and forth, we might ask ourselves, what would happen if I put the entire apparatus up on wheels? In other words, if I were to pull my mass over while this was on wheels and let it go, what would happen? This is what our quiz looks like. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your confidence. Typical student responses are, first of all, how are you going to put this on wheels? And the answer is, I'm not really going to put it on typical wheels. I'll end up putting it on rods. And I'll show you how effective this is. I have a two by four here. I've got two little wooden dowel rods. And if I put these dowel rods on bottom, and then I put my plank of wood on top, you can see how effectively I can eliminate friction. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to use wooden dowel rods. I'm going to use heavy duty aluminum rods and I'll put them underneath here. Our typical responses that we get are, well, why would anything be different? If this is swinging, sitting on the table, why would it be different on wheels? Others will say, look, if I end up swinging this pendulum, the whole apparatus is going to end up moving along in that same direction. If it's on wheels, the momentum is going to carry it through. That's what most people say. Few students might say, wait, I know about this conservation of momentum. And I know that if I have momentum before, it's got to equal my momentum after. And they're going to say, if it now has momentum going in that direction, the whole apparatus will go in that direction. Those are the typical responses that we get. All right, let's actually pull this to the side and see what happens. I have the metal bars in place. This thing wants to move, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get a clean release, but we'll try. I think I, on the diagram, I had it pulled to this side, so I'll try to pull it to this side. And when I let go, you can see it goes the opposite direction. The very first time students see this, they're flabbergasted. They can't believe that the entire apparatus would go the opposite direction of our pendulum. But think about this. The conservation of momentum states that if it's not moving to begin with, and I have the uh, mass to one side, and I let it start moving in that direction, remember, I started at zero. Total momentum of the system was zero. If I now have a mass that's part of the system going in, we'll say, a positive direction, the only way to still have zero total momentum is to have the apparatus coming back with an equal negative momentum. Kind of sounds like Newton's laws for every action or is an equal and opposite reaction. And if you know about Newton and have read any of his work, you know that's really what he was talking about. He actually described what he would say as mass and velocity together. So it's an absolutely great quiz for students. Again, they're surprised at first, but once they see this once and understand the connection to the conservation of momentum, the whole world makes a little bit more sense. I wanna give one real world application of this that most of us might have seen. If I were to take an inkjet printer and put it on this table that can move, or maybe you just have a table that maybe isn't as sturdy as you'd like it, or it's really cheap, the inkjet printer, as it's laying ink down, it has a head, and as it goes across the paper, zoom, 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 it's gonna end up moving back and forth. Well, it's got mass, we're giving it a velocity, and some of these work very quickly, very quickly. So what's gonna happen to conserve momentum is the entire table will wanna go in the opposite direction of the head. So if the head's going this way, the whole table tends to shift back. So if you've ever seen your table shifting back and forth while you're printing a document, now you know why. So that's your real world application and that's your quiz.